My guest in the studio this morning also has the same quality. She plays around with her creativity as well. And it's one thing I respect her for. She is a founder of Lion Hearts Events, uh, which is Ghana's premier event planning company. They are one of the top most in Ghana here, creating high profile events. Um, all across the world for companies like Facebook, Bank of America, Prudential, Octagon, Newmont, and First Atlantic Bank. She's in the person of Tamara Jonah Goka. You are welcome Thank to New you. Day. Thank you for having me. Nice. It's so good to have you. And congratulations on your 10th anniversary as well. Thank you. As Thank Lionheart you. is 10 years I know, this I know, year. Wow. I know. I know. Um, let's take it back uh, a bit. I, I remember seeing your, your tracks. I was telling you, I saw your <laughs> track pass by my office at the time I was at the bank. And I thought, wow, this is very, very prestigious. I think you put a lot of work into it. It is into quite a bit of work. Mm. It's very detail-oriented. Detail-oriented, yeah. indeed. Let's quite, um, kind of rewind it a little bit to when you started. I uh, saw an interview uh, mm -hmm. of you. And you talked about, you know, taking the test to find out what you wanted to do uh, for your master's. Mm -hmm. And the result came out as party planner. I know. <laughs> <laughs> how did you actually, how did you embrace it? Because, you know, from that point to now, how did you embrace it? Um, I mean, I think I'm one of those people that believes in um, being honest to your true self and trying to see what your strengths and weaknesses are. And I think for me personally, one of my things was just being a bit OCD oh, on, yeah. on planning yeah. everything that was around me. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't, it, it, it wasn't. I guess I wasn't shocked when the results came out, but okay. for me it was more, okay, well, how do you make a career out of that? Yes. Or how does that actually become a job? Mm -hmm. um, and that was what, you know, opened up yeah. the different avenues in terms mm. of what I was actually going to do for mm. a living. So, so from there, coming to Ghana mm -hmm. and having to work, and because you hadn't lived here in a long while. Yes. So, you know, moving, shifting systems and having to actually start this business here. 2009 at the time, yeah. mm -hmm. um, I don't think events was that big. Event management and planning was that big. So how, how were you able to fit in here? Um, I think it was new. Um, mm. I think it, 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 even now, it's still, you're still, 10 years later, you're still having to tell a story in yeah. terms of what is possible and why things need to go the way they need to go. Mm. Um, when I first started, there were other companies, but I think for me, um, one of the things that we did very different, differently was actually embracing the design aspect of events and okay. actually creating a storyline from every single event that we did. Mm. Um, so you'd see that a lot of our work is things that, you know, are, are quite unique and, yeah. and trying to get to the core or of what our clients, who our clients are, yeah. what they want, and what they, the story that they want they to tell want. Um, their guests when they first come into an event that they've been invited to. Okay, so in, in the beginning, did you ever take a job that you thought was, you know, difficult? You actually thought it was impossible, but you still went ahead and I do and that every it. day, but I oh, love it. Whoa. I love the challenge. <laughs> where do, where, yeah, where does the excitement come from? Where does the vim and gusto come from to actually do it? Oh, gosh, I don't know. It, it just comes. I'm, I mean, I think I've been very blessed, I would say, mm. um, and, and trying to, I think a lot of times, even just trying to listen to people and, and trying to be able to picture what they're saying even before they, they even tell you what yes. they want. Um, and that's it's a gift that, you know, I, I feel like God has actually blessed on me Aww. and it just comes naturally, I that's guess. That's nice. <laughs> and let's, let's look a bit up at the industry in which you're operating as well. Over time, mm -hmm. there have been a lot of uh, event organizers, mm -hmm. event man man management companies, planners that are, you know, coming up. Uh, would you say that the industry is saturated? Oh, it definitely is. Um, you know, I, I guess now you have Instagram, so every second yes. there is a company that's popping up. Um, yeah, there definitely are a lot of companies. Does it affect the way um, you do business? Does it affect, you know, getting clients, getting jobs? Because there are some people who, um, they're, they're very new and mm -hmm. they probably haven't even gone to school to learn how to do these things. They haven't learned under anybody, but they come up and sometimes they mess up events and uh, for other clients. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it affects? I can, I can imagine that. Yeah. Um, it does happen. I, I think, again, it, I think it's more trying to be true to who you are. Mm. And I think I've had a very loyal clientele um, for the last, last 10 years, which I, I, I love. Oh, um, so that's been quite good. Um, so yeah. yeah. I'll, and I'll and what do you one. think is, is our problem uh, cr crossing over because you you did it in Ghana mm -hmm. you did it all across the world yeah uh, what do you what do you think is maybe a problem for some of um, the people who operate in your industry they would like to cross over but they're not exactly getting there it's just an idea and they may be working towards it but then they're still not getting there oh gosh um 
That's a good question. <laughs> um, I, I would say, again, you, it's, it's important to try and figure out what your ultimate goal is. Yes. Um, I think if you had asked me this question five years ago, I probably would be like, oh, no, I'm, I'm in Ghana. And, oh, you know, but I right. feel like even now, mm. my clients are traveling a lot more now, and okay. they're doing events outside of Ghana. And once you build that relationship, they will right. kind of take you along with them. Right, yeah. right, right. So you do destination weddings and we all do. of that. We do. Wow. We do. We do. We do. OK. Let's talk, let's talk a bit about your, your, your latest project. Um, uh, as you're celebrating 10, 10 years, years yep. Cirque du Soir. Right. I saw the poster and it just blew me away. Tell us all about it. <laughs> so basically, it's a um, theoretical dining experience. Um, mm. It's the first time actually within West Africa that a show like this has actually been created. Mm. Um, believe it or not, it's taken me five, six years to actually put this project put it together. together. <laughs> Why so long? Um, because it was just trying to get the artists to come to Ghana to actually perform. That, mm -hmm. that has been a major challenge. Mm. Um, and trying to find places that they could actually do performing right, has also right, been right. a major challenge for us as well. Um, but thankfully, in the last couple of months, everything has kind of fallen into place. And oh, wow. And it, it coincides with the year of return as yes, well. Yes, so which is... It looks many, like it will be a massive yes, one. Right. So what, what's, what should we expect to experience? Because, this, I mean, you said it's the first of its kind. Mm -hmm. like, I can't imagine what we're going to experience to tell us all about. Yeah, so basically, it's the um, circus acts um, and right. which is basically your aerial performers your mm. dancers your singers mm. um, all in the show setting mm. um, what makes the show is also quite different is the fact that we're actually adding the culinary aspect of it mm. so you're actually coming and dine whining and dining wow. while you're watching a show so it's not just you know the idea of just sitting and watching Watch and, and, and not having the whole yeah. everything else that goes with the bells and whistles prestigious as I mentioned it's fun <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's fun yeah. I think everybody should experience it once yeah. you know because um, it, it happens once. once so how, how do I take part in this um, where do I get the tickets so at the moment um, we're there's a website um, okay. Cirque de Soir .com. Um, we also take that again Cirque de Soir .com. okay yeah. um, there's also an Instagram and there's a phone number that you can actually call okay. um, if you zero, have the phone yeah number. so okay. zero five five zero zero eight zero eight zero 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 yeah and on social media what what's what are the handles Cirque, Cirque de Soir, Cirque de Soir. Yeah. okay C I R Q U C I R Q U D E S O I R Okay, Cirque du Soir. Okay, yeah. okay, that's good. Well, Christmas uh, promises to be fantastic then. It does. I mean, it, it, it's, it's something different. I, I think it's something that everybody, again, should be able to experience at least okay. one time. Lastly, before we go, the, the mm -hmm. dates. Um, it starts on the 6th of um, December, which is next week. So oh, next right, week, right, right. Friday, the public holiday, Father's yeah. Day. Um, and it ends, it runs until the 26th of December. Oh, and and it, it, it offers something for both the adults as well as children. We have the family nights on the Sundays. Um, so yeah, you can bring your kids oh. to come and experience it as well. I'm excited. I, I think I have to be a part of this as Definitely. well. Except the soir. <laughs> First ever here in Ghana being organized by Lionheart Events. And I've been speaking to the founder of Lionheart Events, Tamara Jonagoka, putting all of this together. It's exciting. Christmas promises to be fantastic. From the Sith to uh, the 26th. Sixth, exactly. Yep. We will enjoy ourselves. Thank you so much Thank for joining us. Thank you for us. having me. Thank you. <laughs>